What's your concern? How serious is the threat from the Wagner Group and why should it be prescribed? So look, the Wagner Group is essentially a uh, criminal mafia group. So they travel around the world, uh, they steal natural resources, they fuel corruption and they leave atrocities in their wake. Um, in some instances, they've murdered 500 people at a time in a massacre. And we know from a defector who gave evidence to us that he is training, particularly in failing regimes that essentially need the Wagner Group to come in and prop them up. Uh, they are training them in how to torture people and how to commit atrocities. We then, as the UK, have to deal with the resulting migrant crisis for the hundreds of thousands who've had to leave countries like Central African Republic and Mali and others. But also we have to and we want to go in and make sure that there is increased stability in those countries. So Wagner causes an incredibly big problem for us. Um, what state is the Wagner Group in at the moment, given the, everything that happened in, in Russia, its leader is now in... Belarus. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is it the organisation it was? Is it still posing the same level of threat? So unfortunately, many of us hoped that the march on Moscow and the resulting fallout would result in reduced uh, power. But actually what we've seen even over the last few days is all those troops who flew, for example, from Africa back to Russia to help aid in the march on Moscow, they're all now returning to countries such as the Central African Republic. The reality is the Wagner network is too influential and too powerful. Uh, it is a great brand from Russia's perspective. It helps Russia secure influence uh, around the world. And ultimately, it brings back gold, diamonds, uh, you name it, critical minerals that enrich the Russian elite. So no, Putin is not going to allow this to be wound down. The question now is what Prigozhin is or is not allowed to do, what they may or may not do in Belarus. But I think Africa will continue to be the hotbed of their activities. And so the, the organisation continues regardless of who necessarily is leading it and where they are. So That's what you, you want the government to prescribe it. What difference would it make uh, well, if, if the government did do that? So first of all, it sends a very strong message. It's a deterrence effect. So it tells governments around the world, look, if you partner with these people, they are terrorists. They will steal from you. They will make themselves rich off the backs of your country and they will commit atrocities. They are terrorists. Do not partner with them. But the second thing it would allow us to do is to pursue the Wagner network, their members and all their enablers, so the London financiers, all those others based in London, to hunt them down and take them to court and deal with them, which we can't currently do. Conversely and perversely, what we currently have is Prigozhin taking a British national, Elliot Higgins, the founder of Bellingcat, through our courts because he said that Prigozhin was head of the Wagner network. So we have to get this right and currently it's completely the wrong way around.